Hello. <clears throat> uh, as said, I am Iris Tui uh, from the University of Tartu, from uh, the Institute of uh, Psychology. And uh, um, my talk, which is uh, titled Cyber Tigers Factors that uh, Motivate Women to be Engaged in Cybersecurity, is based on a research project, uh, Cyber Tigers, Girls' Motivation and Achievement in Cybersecurity Studies. And this uh, research project is funded by uh, Est Internet SA. So um, I was really glad to hear uh, that the speakers um, uh, who spoke before lunch actually all briefly touched this topic. So I don't have to um, justify my research so much. Uh, but first, I would like to um, introduce you uh, two typical young women, uh, the respondents uh, in my study. So young woman A, uh, she's 18 years old, is studying in a high school which is um, uh, rated as uh, one of the top 10 high schools uh, in Estonia according to final exam results. Uh, the high school is uh, natural science biased and um, and this girl is uh, really interested in natural sciences. She's really good at math. She's really good at chemistry. Um, uh, she has won several chemistry competitions, national um, and regional. Um, she has many uh, skills and talents uh, and uh, she's um, looking forward to uh, going to university, but she's undecided uh, where to go. Um, young woman B is uh, also 18 years old, also from a uh, similar kind of um, uh, high school, um, uh, which also has um, an IT program in other high school. Uh, she has also many talents, she's good at natural sciences, uh, but her special skill is business. Uh, she has won um, several uh, students' competitions on, on, in business. She has a, her own successful company, um, which is uh, producing um, um, short marketing videos. Um, and um, she's also exploring um, what are the other things she's good at. Uh, so, uh, although she's uh, already pre-accepted as a business student um, uh, at the university. So uh, these are um, the type of girls who enrolled to CTF Cyber Academy in 2022. And um, I call them uh, cyber tigers. Um, briefly, I also tell that this safety, the CTF um, uh, Tech Cyber Academy was organized uh, by uh, Science School of uh, University, of University of Tartu and uh, by uh, CTF Tech. So why I call those women cyber tigers? Uh, it's, it strongly associ associates to me uh, with the Tiger Leap program, which was initi initiated um, 1996 by Estonian President Lennart Meri, uh, in order to um, uh, bring internet to school, uh, to enable teachers and, um, and students um, acquire dig digital skills and, and raise the uh, awareness and develop the area in Estonia. I think, uh, and uh, many other people in Estonia think that uh, this program might need a phase two. And um, uh, uh, I, I believe that these cyber tigers um, may have a, a great potential in contributing into this uh, phase two. Uh, it has also been it has been mentioned here several times that uh, this kind of new leap is needed because a uh, highly skilled workforce is needed in cybersecurity area. Uh, the workforce gap estimate has already been named here. What, what are the numbers? I, I present here uh, the number, the estimation of, um, which has calculated for Europe, Middle East and Africa. So the number is uh, pretty large which is missing from the industry. Um, another reason why this um, Tiger Leap might be needed is that the cybersecurity sector is um, currently heavily dominated by men, which means there is more room, room for women. 
And also, um, there are other benefits that occur with um, gender balance, uh, or uh, should we say, organizational diverse, diversity in uh, cybersecurity teams. And um, these um, uh, facts that I bring out here uh, are taken from this report that you can see on the slide. Uh, so, um, uh, the bringing more women to the um, uh, cybersecurity sector increases organizational diversity, um, uh, which uh, brings some positive effects, uh, which I have mentioned here. For example, it positively increases uh, employees' experience, especially among uh, young workers which means that they are more satisfied with their uh, work culture, with uh, general uh, work-related issues. Uh, organizational diversity also contributes to security teams' success. These teams are more successful, which have, um, for example, better gender balance. And it also reduces effectively shortage in workforce. People, these companies who um, uh, have paid attention to organizational diversity uh, complain, about, like 19% of those companies complain about shortage um, in workforce as compared to 34% of uh, companies who do not pay attention to organizational diversity. So, um, uh, this, um, my study is not unique in the sense that uh, it has been studied already before, which are the factors that motivate and keep women in IT programs, for example. And I have named those factors here. Uh, a recent, uh, they are taken from a recent review. And, um, and uh, these factors uh, include um, like special study programs for women, um, engaging girls already at high schools, uh, campaigns for women, uh, female examples, female lecturers, cre creating community feeling and support, uh, interest in industry networking opportunities, and uh, recruitment um, quotas for genders, in case um, there is a program which is uh, for both genders. Um, and um, my study specifically covers um, um, I mean, the sample is taken from um, CTF uh, Cyber Academy for Girls 2022 because uh, they, uh, the organizers of this uh, Cyber Academy knowingly took into account all these factors that could motivate girls to come to this program and also stay in this program. In addition to those factors that I showed on the previous slide, also uh, uh, they offered the, the girls to participate uh, in boot camps with boys and also participate um, um, in this uh, cyber battle of Estonia 2002. And uh, the, the recruitment went pretty well, 90 girls registered, but actually less than 20 girls graduated. So um, there is a, there are grounds uh, for this, uh, that uh, we should study those motivational factors deeper. What's happening here? And uh, that's why I conducted this research. Uh, the research has many um, question, research questions, but I'm only going to talk about two of them here. Uh, what factors in this cyber academy uh, were perceived as motivating for girls? And uh, what factors were demotivating? Uh, and for that, we constructed an online uh, questionnaire uh, and we conducted interviews with the girls. And the interviews are especially important to, um, uh, to make the uh, voices of girls to be heard, to take into account their opinions, and they also might give us ideas how to go on from here. The questionnaire uh, uh, was um, formed from... Uh, like it included statements, and I bring a couple of examples here. Uh, each statement started, I was motivated, and then continued, because the cyber academy was only for girls. Or, um, I was motivated by the female guest lecturers from the IT field, and so on. 
And the girls had to respond using the scale from one to five. Uh, one meaning do not know and five uh, I strongly uh, agree. Uh, the, the study is still ongoing, so these are pre preliminary results and only uh, 22 respondents have um, uh, uh, given their data. But um, uh, the data is, uh, can be divided into two age groups um, because the participants were not only the girls from high school, uh, which was a bigger group in the Cyber Academy, uh, but there were also older participants, uh, girl, uh, young women from uh, universities, for example, who are a bit older. This was a smaller group. Um, and um, here are um, the results. Mm, uh, for example, uh, so uh, I want to show in um, uh, age groups uh, how many dropouts there were and how many actually tried to do uh, the Cyber Academy final exam. So the blue bar is dropouts and the red bar is uh, the ones who attempted to do uh, the, the final exam. So you can see that in younger age group, there were, um, mm, it, it was a bigger group, uh, but the, uh, the divide between dropouts and, um, and um, the ones who really did uh, try to do the exam is uh, bigger. Uh, who actually graduated? Uh, this is also, uh, um, uh, the results are shown here, uh, divided into two age groups. And you can see that in the younger age group, the number of graduates is even smaller than the ones who uh, tried to do the exam. Uh, but the old age group um, is looking pretty much the same. So I don't know how well, no, I, maybe you can still read the figure, but um, I wanted to uh, put all the items of the questionnaire mm, on this figure so that you would get an overview of uh, what's the situation here. So each item uh, is representing one motivational factor. And the top items uh, represent uh, those which are statistically significant, uh, the girls uh, the, like the, the, really the bigger number of girls uh, responded that uh, this factor motivated them. And you can read this figure in this way that um, uh, the blue bar shows uh, collect, collapsed responses from I quite agree uh, to agree. So it forms, a bar, blue bar forms I agree. Uh, the orange bar, I believe, yeah, the orange bar, um, there the answers were collapsed, which was quite disagree and I disagree. Uh, and, uh, and the red bar shows not sure, or I don't know. So um, uh, I found that the factors that uh, were really paid attention to by the organizers and that I showed you previously on the slide, the factors that were really motivating girls in other countries uh, are actually motivating girls in Cyber Academy as well. But there were also some um, original factors uh, for Estonian young women. For example, um, they were more motivated when um, they were interested in cybersecurity already before Cyber Academy. And it was very important for them who is organizing the Cyber Academy. Uh, for Estonian girls, it's important that the uh, university is involved, so, because the, one of the organizers was uh, a science school of um, uh, University of Tartu. Uh, but they also valued the, the cooperation between private company and uh, the university. Uh, also, it was important for them um, uh, that Cyber Academy was organized only for girls. And here I have to bring in some background from the interviews. It was important for them during the enrolling uh, because it gave them the feeling that um, the level of girls is the same as their level. So they, they kind of 
felt motivated by it that um, that uh, probably there are not some really super excellent guys who take all the attention and who dictate the pace. So they know that this type of guys are not going to be there. The girls will be roughly the similar. So that was motivating factor them, for them. And uh, the female guest, guest lectures, of course, were important for them. And um, the opportunity to study at their own pace. Uh, they mentioned the tasks were interesting and they were not too challenging for them. And uh, they liked that the intervals between the study sessions were long. And uh, they liked that the um, Cyber Academy included two age groups, not only high school, but the, also the old um, uh, um, young women. And the rest of the factors were not so uh, motivating for them. And uh, the past pace of studies was also not motivating. So, um, so if the factors were motivating for them that were used in order to draw them to the cybersecurity, why, why it's still, still so many dropouts? And we ask them. Uh, and here is the frequency of responses what they gave. Uh, it appears that actually high school is not a very good time to do this kind of uh, program because uh, in high school they are actually already overloaded with, with work. And um, they had the, also the impression from the Cyber Academy, in the beginning of Cyber Academy, that the Cyber Academy may also need a lot of work. So quite many of them said that they didn't. They quit it early because they were overloaded with work and their studies. And the long intervals between study sessions actually took the focus elsewhere. Because as you remember, they are brilliant girls with many talents. So it is easy to uh, jump on one thing to another. Um, and uh, those who just said that I quit early gave some other reasons uh, which are below this I quit early said, uh, statement. So the reasons were it was not fun, poor health, not interesting, not enough time. Even they disliked online lectures. So uh, uh, they also gave quite good advice. So this is the voice that they want to be heard, that what can be done differently. Um, and quite like several of them said that everything was great, nothing needs to be improved. Uh, probably those are the three ones that graduated. Uh, uh, but, um, uh, but there are also some good points here. For example, it could be uh, that academic credits are given for this program so that they can include it into their high school program. And uh, in that sense, they can balance the workload. And um, they wish they could allocate more time to this program and uh, that the program would be divided into smaller parts so that um, uh, they could do it in smaller bits and also plan the time better. And there are some other ideas that you can grasp from here. So, um, before I finish, um, I want to... Um, uh, also conclude that um, uh, what I did not bring out yet is uh, uh, that this program did not offer much networking opportunity and the girls who finished this program um, they um, told me that they didn't get to know even the other girls in the program. So uh, one of the reasons uh, that uh, one of the motivating factors for women it turns out is a human factor. They want some communication opportunities. Uh, they want some projects to work on as a team. Uh, they want some more communication with, um, uh, with the lectures. And um, yeah, the, this human touch is really um, that was missing from this program. And maybe it could be improved in the next uh, phase of this program. So I thank you. And uh, you can read about this project uh, on our webpage, and uh, you can contact us. Uh, I have also uh, two students I supervise, so uh, looking forward to your questions.
Uh, thank you, Riz. I actually wanted to ask um, for you, uh, what was actually the most surprising thing that you discovered uh, during your research? Um, uh, I think the surprising was that how excellent all those um, mm, th those participants were. Mm -hmm. Like I described only two, but all of them were really brilliant minds. That was really like a wow moment for me. All right. Uh, is there anybody? I can take one question. Uh, I guess we're yes. There is one question here. Can we get a microphone there? Thank you. Uh, me again. Um, the statistics that you showed of the um, the age groups and the dropping out are there comparable statistics to boys doing the same thing? So are girls dropping out more than boys, or is it just a case of that's across? Both both sexes, because obviously this is a an issue that uh, that I'm involved with with my program in that we get less than ten percent of uh, of ladies joining, um, and yes, I would like I would like more, but it's a case of is it that cybersecurity just doesn't appeal to them? Is it a problem with cybersecurity, or is it a problem with um, stereotyping? Um, and and is is it just a case of this is just how it is? Um, because looking at the other ones of your slides, I was looking at them thinking, well, what can I change with that? And I'm thinking, well, I can't really change any of those if it's just not interested. You know, if they're not interested, or I quit early, or it wasn't interesting, or I didn't like online lectures. Well, that's not that's not gender specific, is it? Uh, right. Uh, I haven't. Since I didn't have much time, so I didn't include that. Uh, and uh, actually, I haven't really mm, done yet the, the gender comparisons. Uh, so um, I cannot in answer right now from the top of my head that what would be the comparative um, uh, percentages uh, with the boys. But I can say about um, uh, losing interest part of the question. Um, well, the interesting thing is that when they entered the program, they were very interested, but they lost um, they lost the in, uh, interest during the program, and um, it was not because it was too hard for them, but uh, it's probably they as as you also saw from their suggestions that um, that the program could be tweaked in a way that they wouldn't lose their interest so quickly. For example, um, more practical tasks. Uh, for example, teamwork um, and and some other things. So um, they actually said that yes, I quitted it, but and at the time uh, it felt that um, I can do something better with my time. But they did not lose the interest entirely. So some of them said that actually I should go back and look more into it now, when I have more time. So um, I wouldn't say that they, they're just not interested, because these are the type of girls who are potentially the most interested. Because they are like really strong in logical reasoning, they like that kind of stuff. Um, I think if they are not interested, then <laughs> there are no women who would be interested at all. So um, yeah, I didn't get the impression that um, that they're just not interested and in the dot. Uh, but uh, the, the program can be tweaked in a way that they would stay in it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much, Sirius, for uh, your overview of your research.